As the piston starts, Ripley ushers Eric into a corridor on one side of the leadworks while she heads to the opposite side. Shortly afterwards, Ripley, her chest pain starting to become more frequent, stumbles across Eric's body. Though he is dead, his death has been left off screen. He is bloodied around the neck, so probably suffered an attack similar to Kevin's. There are a couple of odd things about his death. One, as mentioned, Eric was on the other side of the leadworks, so how was Ripley able to stumble across his body? One possible explanation is Ripley ended up on the other side after running down a number of channels and sealing doors. How she got there so fast is anyone's guess. Another possible explanation is that the alien grabbed Eric and took him over to the other side of the leadworks, then dumped him. However, the alien was on the same side of the leadworks as Ripley, not Eric. Thus leaving us with the more plausible answer that Eric did what he needed to do, then ran behind the piston to the other side and was killed here. The other odd thing about Eric is how Ripley finds him. She rounds a corner and finds him lying there, or so we're led to believe. Judging from the shot, they are lying about waist high, not on the ground. It's possible Eric's body was lying on a piece of old equipment, or barrels like the ones used for quinitracetylene. Also interesting to note how quickly Eric was killed. Most of the closing stage of the film happens more or less in real time. Dylan says they have four or five minutes before the piston locks into the lead mould. In fact, it takes four minutes and 34 seconds. So from Eric disappearing into the tunnel to reappearing dead on the other side of the leadworks takes just 12 seconds. During this time, the alien has dispensed with Kevin, killed Eric, and has already taken off after Jude again.